everyone. I'm here for your weekly astrology report um, for the week of June 11th to 17th of 2018. So let's start with the headlines as always. And if you want your own astrology chart, you can go to my Etsy shop and get one if you want. Otherwise, let's get going. So we'll start with the headlines and then we'll move day to day. So big headline is we have a new moon this week. Um, it is on Wednesday, June the 13th at 22 degrees of Gemini. If you subscribe to my newsletter, I have sent out a newsletter about this new moon and all the details and everything. So it is a new moon in Gemini. So great time to work on any writing goals, communication, um, any relationships with friends or siblings. Good time for that. Travel, any goals in that area, learning as well. Anything communication learning travel wise gemini is all about it so it's a good time to make some goals in those areas we also have some of the planets changing signs we have mercury and i'm gonna look for it here mercury moving into the sign of cancer on tuesday uh the 12th so just before the new moon so let's find our mercury and cancer card here we have intuition intuition there we go beautiful and that is very apt um, because cancer is a very sensitive water sign it is very much about intuition and so when mercury goes into cancer from gemini gemini is more of a direct uh, kind of communicator people are more uh, short communication, but sometimes a little bit blunt, but also very humorous whereas cancer is more emotional Which is good in that people tend to be more sensitive to others feelings But also people tend to be more sensitive themselves to what's being said So you really have to listen to kind of how things are being said and the undercurrent in them And if you are feeling sensitive over the next month about things like step back a bit and think did they really mean it that way? You know give yourself Step back a little bit. That's all uh, we also have Venus changing to the sign of Leo on Wednesday the 13th. So a lot of energy shifting on Tuesday and Wednesday. So Venus in Leo, it says affair. It's very naughty. Here you have uh, two children. It's kind of, kind of interesting. I guess they're supposed to be like cherubs or something. Yes, so there they are. Um, and so uh, Venus and Leo is very dramatic. Venus and Leo likes to have a lot of attention splurged on them. They like romance. They like things over the top. Um, and so in our relationships, there may be a lot of drama, um, but also a lot of sort of like show, uh, shows of romance. And that can be going out or gifts or just getting dressed up. It's very much a, a sign that's all about showing the romance. So there's a lot of romantic uh, sort of energies. They're shifting from more nurturing and at home to you know being kind of more outside it's the difference between you know sort of hanging out and watching Netflix and going out on the town and getting all dressed up um, that's kind of the energy that's shifting here and so those are kind of the headlines this week those are the big things um, on Monday we start off with a um, with the moon in Taurus and then the moon goes void at 10 29 p.m. Central Time as always in Central Time just for your area so it's a day to get to work to get things done it's not a day to rush it's a day to kind of like pace yourself it's also a day to nurture and take care of yourself and then um, on Tuesday the moon goes into Gemini so uh, it's still relatively short it's an overnight kind of void moon so most of the day is spent in Taurus. Um, I don't think there's any other aspects that day. Um, like I said, Tuesday at 1.53 a.m., the moon is going to move into Gemini, so the moon will stay in Gemini all day Tuesday. Um, so that is a day where things are a little more fast-paced, a lot more communication going on, good day for meetings, good day to learn things, good days for little short trips on Tuesday. We also have Mercury moving into Cancer on that day as well. Um, so again, people may be a little, getting a little more sensitive on that day. On Wednesday, we have a void moon at 2.43 p.m. And right around at that time, the last aspect is the new moon. So we're spending the morning and part of the afternoon with the moon in Gemini. Um, and then it goes void for the rest of the day. So the rest of the day is kind of like not a great time to get to start anything new, which is interesting because the new moon is right there. So I would say if you're making your new moon goals, I would leave that um, to kind of Thursday or Friday to do any rituals in regards to that. Because the rest of the day Wednesday is kind of, it's in a void. 
on Wednesday as well, we have the Sun sextiling uh, Juno. So there's opportunities that day to build partnerships. Uh, moon is in Gemini, so it's a good day to communicate, um, especially on an emotional level. We have uh, Mercury having a sextile with Uranus that day. So that it's a good time to kind of talk about new ideas, to get support from others for new ideas. It's a good day to kind of banter around, to talk about ideas, to talk about things on Wednesday. Um, and then on Thursday, the moon moves into Cancer at 2.20 a.m. So Thursday, we want to kind of more be at home, whereas Tuesday, Wednesday, we're kind of running around and doing the stuff. Um, Thursday is more like homey, nurturing. We want to care for things. A good day to do art. It's a good day for imagination, um, for daydreaming too, a little bit. Um, that's Thursday. We have Mercury making a square to Chiron on that day. So there may be um, some communication upsets that day where somebody may say something that re pokes at an old wound, or we may inadvertently poke at someone else's wound. So we should watch for that on Thursday. Uh, we also have Mercury uh, squaring um, Uranus that day. So it's a good day for exciting romantic um, adventures as well. If your partner asks you to, you know, go somewhere different, do something different, it's a good day for that. Um, let's see what else. We also have the uh, Mercury, or pardon me, Venus changing to Leo that day as well. So good day for romance on that day. Um, Friday, we have a void moon at 11, 18 p.m. So that, so it does stay, the moon does stay most day in Cancer. So that homey kind of nurturing energy continues into the day on Friday. And I don't think there's any other aspects of the day. Saturday, the moon moves into Leo at 2.21 a.m. So we spend uh, most of Saturday and Sunday in the sign of Leo. So Saturday, Sunday, Friday is not really a good day to party, but Saturday, Sunday are a good day to get out, do things, um, be in public, be seen, do some stuff with people. Um, we also have, I think that's it for, oh no, we have uh, Venus trining Chiron. So there's a lot of healing energy around loving relationships, healing energy around art, around beauty. So Saturday is a really good day to shine, so to speak. Sunday, we have um, the moon is in Leo, and then we have a void moon at 10 26 p.m. So again, that Leo energy throughout most of the day Sunday. Then we have the sun sextiling Chiron. So it's a good time to nurture the self, to do stuff for ourselves, to, you know, get, get a pedicure or... You know, just sit outside and read a book. You know, do something that's nurturing for yourself on Sunday. Um, well, the other thing that's happening this week is we do have one of the asteroids changing sign. So Vina is, Vina, the, the Vesta, who's in charge of the hearth and home, is in retrograde. And she goes back from Capricorn slips back into Sagittarius on Thursday. So uh, we go from kind of our spirituality being around the home or doing physical renovations, physical changes to the home to more focusing on learning things, to focusing on sort of more ph philosophical type things with our spirituality on that day. So that's the energy that I am seeing for the week. Um, new moon, but like I said, wait till maybe Thursday, Friday to make any particular goals because Wednesday, once the, the moon goes new, it is in a void for the rest of the day. So I would say wait till Thursday, Friday to set any attentions, that kind of thing. Uh, Monday's kind of like get stuff done. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday will be relatively busy. And then Thursday, Friday is more kind of like, you know, we're doing things for ourselves. Saturday, Sunday is more a time to get out there and be social with people. So that's the energies for this week. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please put in the comments below. Like and subscribe. And as always, peace, love, and rock and roll. And I will talk to you guys later.